And we've seen some sensational ones. And to your point, I like that. Jalen Hurts, really good runner. They built it around his feet. You know, Bryce Young, really good passer. Tua Tungavailoa, really good passer. More about the passing game, explosive passing play. So they'll do whatever it takes to win. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. He's going to pass. Looking deep. Working on the right. Hit the afterburners, kid. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Freeze. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. Alabama comes to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off. And really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive points. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Gets away. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. He'll sneak it and try to surge forward. Wedges, pushes, and he's over and in for the touchdown. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game. But in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score. The kickoff here is about to go to work. He'll bring it out. It's Jackson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out at the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15.
The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision-making. We decided to go for it. We didn't get it. And the defense, Jesse, didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt. But look, this offense has been in these situations before, so you've got to come back out here, take the field. It's a fresh set of downs, brand-new drive. Let's go out and execute, put some points on the board. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. This offense has a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Got it set up on the outside. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. The Tigers want to pick up the tempo. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Takes it the other way. He's out of bounds at the five, and what a job to set up his offense. Great job by the safety. You see safety's back in coverage, reading the quarterback's eyes, understanding where he's throwing the football. Great break, great interception. Well, this drive probably won't help them pile up yards, but they could get points quickly, starting it with a first and goal. Out of the gun, looking to throw. He's got it! And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single. Quarterback sneak for the touchdown. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Catch in the middle, it's Jackson. And if you had any questions about this quarterback's arm talent, now you've got your answer. Wow. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Moving, keeping the eyes down. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down, he'll lose a couple. And the Tigers are in the hurry up. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Got a man, it's Daniels. Good call, good execution as they move the change and they have a first down at the 38. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. 
You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man! And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, it's second and ten. looking to throw. He'll take a shot. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown by you, Bengal. Hey, he's got that by you speed. Like, I run by you. You don't even call it whatever route you want to call it, but does a nice job winning at the line of scrimmage, getting behind the DB, runs, catches it right in the end zone. Big play for this offense. Nice throw, nice catch. And the extra point was good to finish things off. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes that Alabama offense. Everybody talks about getting off to a great start, but if you start building steam, David, that can work too. No doubt, man, and sometimes it snowballs. But what do great teams do? Great teams respond. Struggled the first quarter, Palmer, but done a great job rebounding and putting some points on the board. You're right. I think they've started to identify the matchups that are in their favor. On this drive, they need to keep attacking, taking advantage of those matchups. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Quickly complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Wants to throw on first down. He slings it deep to the left. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. They're going to throw it again. Fires to the big fella. And he laid the lumber to stop it from getting the first down. Alabama pushing the tempo. On second down, just keeps firing. Using the quick game. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He is dealing on this drive. Completed all five throws, and now they have first and goal. Yeah, and who needs balance when you got a guy like this? You trust him, getting the ball back in the pocket. The ball's coming out, spreading it around the field. Nice decision making. This drive has been surgical for this QB. On first and goal, let's see if Alabama can get it in the end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Second and goal coming up. He's looking to throw. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. That is one the quarterback is going to want to have back. It's touchdowns or it's checkdowns once you get down to the red zone. You can't get too aggressive and greedy trying to fit the football into small windows, and as a result, QB throws a pick. He'll pull it down. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10.
he wants to throw. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Back to pass, it's Gus Meyer. And here comes the Heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. After the big first down sack, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Firing to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, LSU. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. First down for this offense. He's looking to throw it. Trying to get to it. Coming after him. They're bringing heat. Takes a shot as he lets it go. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And that'll bring us to the end of the first half as we head to the studio for halftime. LSU ready to boot it away and open this second half. He'll call for the fair catch here. on the snap count there. That's maybe what caused the false start. Either way, offense is penalized. Looking for a productive play on first down. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Firing to the right, complete. Makes the catch and knock down. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Oh, picked off. Trying to take it back. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. 
Third in Africa is extremely difficult. When I know it's a passing situation, I get to rush the passer and pin my ears back. I get to put more DBs on the field to drop back and really play pass coverage. You can tell the offense was trying to force it, trying to get that first down, and makes the big mistake. The throw. Touchdown, Tigers! And that one will put them up here in the second half. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. 14. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here comes that Alabama offense. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. Threw a pick last time. Almost threw another one. But you know what? I like the fact that this dude has no conscience. None. <laughs> Arm arrogance, right? He's going to spin the football, try to make plays. Look like this. Take the good with the bad, right? He's going to make some plays. He's going to give some away. Let's try to uh, do a little bit more of the playmaking as opposed to giving it to the other team, though. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Whoa, does he turn that loose down the middle? Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown time! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. We saw a great example of it right there. And they did make the extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the third. What a display of explosive capabilities on that drive. 75 yards, two plays, and a touchdown. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Looking for daylight from inside his 20. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the third. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Wide out in motion. They'll go to the ground. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. The Tigers come to the line in the hurry up. On second down, he's looking downfield. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. Touchdown, Tigers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. Well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. To the air, it's Milrow. He's gonna let it go. He's got it down the right side. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. 
That big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. He's going to pass. He uncorks a bullet to the right. And he makes the catch inside the 20. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback and disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short game. It's important on offense to get the tight ends involved in the passing game. These are big fellas that can run. This guy's a big target, so nice job on that play. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Well, look, this quarterback has struggled a little bit in this game with interceptions. Maybe he was being too greedy early on that time, made a real good decision. Now, I'll tell you what, that's a nice catch by the running back because that ball's in the air a long time. You're throwing it all the way out to the flat like that. He looked like a receiver making that catch and getting extra yards. Alabama comes to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Alabama! And they take it in for six more points. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. All tied up, and just about set to kick it away. That ball scoots through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Going to try to get it. In. Oh, there's the ball. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. I guess in this case, the scramble giveth, and the scramble taketh away, and the ball was taken away. And I'm not sure if he just didn't see an open guy downfield or if his receivers didn't do a good enough job on the scramble rule getting open, but at the end, quarterback held on to it way too long. That allowed the defense to catch up to him and create the takeaway. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout as their first of the half. Line gets set, first down. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Buys a little time with his feet. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. This has been a tight one, third quarter, all tied up. It's now second and ten. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Got his man on the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Alabama quickly back to the line. Quarterback will audible. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Lines is back in the middle. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. That's the end of the third quarter. And after 
three. We are all tied up. A tie game here late, and they do not want to give up this football. They'll go for it on fourth down. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Finds his man, and they convert. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. Well, this defense is trying to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working. That last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. It's complete to the left. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. They'd love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. Touchdown, Bama! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Jackson. Tackled at the 24 and almost breaks even with the yardage he would have gotten with a touchback. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. LSU right back to the line. Defense showing blitz. Will they bail out of it? Quick strike complete. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. And he earns a first down. And boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. In search of that tying touchdown. They've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. Used the play fake. Now to throw. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. I love the job here by the linebacker. He just kind of floats and he's shuffling and he's waiting to see which way the quarterback's going to go with the football. Not able to snag it out of the air, but hey, batting it away, it's a big-time play. 
the short hands. It's Daniels. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you a huge third down. Off the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. I don't know about the play call there, guys. Third down, they're throwing it behind the line of scrimmage, seeing if this guy can do something once he has it in his hands. But a better job of pursuit and tackling defensively, now setting up fourth. Quickly to the tight end. Tackle is made after the first down. We have reached a two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. Ready, LSU right. with the first and ten here. Back to the air one more time. With the catch, it's Williams. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Got his man quickly. Dances away from the D. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! A great catch and run for six. Great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. So a well-executed eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Fair catch called for and made. comes that Alabama offense. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do, so tempo is going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, trying to maximize this time and get in a position to win. He's looking for a man on second down. Fires to the tight end. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Not much time left, but the offense has a shot to end this one in regulation. He'll come out throwing on first down. Gets it out fast. And he'll have to check his fillings after that lick, but he did get the first down. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific finish. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Quarterback checking off. To the air on first down. Throws to the wideout. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds and complete. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TD so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. To the air, it's Milrow. Escapes the pressure going right. He's got it. 
And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between the tackles, he can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field and he can run the route tree. Huge play, puts them in the red zone and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 15. And he moved it slightly forward, defense played it well. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves in the position to win. It is a nerve-wracking feeling as a football player when the game comes down to your kick. And he has to come through. And Palmer, he comes through with flying colors. And you know in college football, no field goal is automatic. But there's no college kicker situation here. He drills that right through the uprights. And David, it looks like his team's getting the dub. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Now in the waning seconds, Jesse, you've put yourself in position to pull this one out. And there's a chance this may come down to the kicker, guys. So which hash mark does he like to kick from the best? you got to play call this to give your guy the best chance to make his kick. And how much confidence do I have in him? You know, what's his range? All those things come into account. And how aggressive you want to be maybe going towards the end zone versus a field goal. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. They'll go back to the air on second down. A deep throw as the clock winds down. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's going up top here late in the game. He fought to the bitter end, and the final incompletion puts a wrap on it. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much. So you take the field against your rival, and you're able to put forth a performance like that that is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team and bragging rights now for a while. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.